Hey everybody, so today's video is about what to bring to your music lesson. We're going to start off with the most obvious. Bring your instrument to your music lesson. <laughs> now sometimes we forget it's a busy day, you're coming from work, you're coming from a meeting, you're coming from a, maybe one of your children had a, a sporting event and you remembered about your lesson last minute and so you're flying over here. Um, just text your teacher, maybe they Maybe they have a backup, and so you can use that. Or maybe they have nobody after you, and so you can go home and get your instrument and still have your full lesson. It's always good just to talk to your teacher and let them know what's going on. But try your best to remember your instrument is the most important. I made a list on my phone for the rest. So the next most important thing is a pencil. Bring a pencil to your lessons, not a pen but a pencil. Why? Because we make mistakes or sometimes we just want to make changes in maybe the bowing that we put in or maybe we decided to cut apart or maybe we decided we we didn't like the bowing anymore and we decided to change it a couple weeks later. That's why we write in pencil. Okay. The next thing I wrote down would be a tuner and a metronome. Now you can get these on your phone for free these days and so maybe right now take a minute, take out your phone if you're on your phone, pause this video, download a tuner, download an app. I have it on my phone and they were both free. Sometimes they play ads and that's a little bit annoying but it was free <laughs> so I'm not going to complain. Um, I just did complain. <laughs> they were free. Download some free stuff. Next thing I would bring is a notebook with your pencil <laughs> because your teacher is going to tell you some valuable advice and maybe you're going to go home, cook dinner, eat dinner for your kid and you're going to sit down to practice and you're not going to remember what happened in your lesson. That's why notebooks are super important. Mine is a notebook slash calendar which is great in case my teacher has an upcoming gig I'm the teacher. In case I have an upcoming gig or something and I need to reschedule the lesson, you have your calendar right in front of you. Most of my adult students have it on their phone, so that's great. But if you can bring a notebook, that's fantastic. You should always do it. Next thing for, I teach violin, cello, and bass, bring rosin. My favorite rosin, magic rosin. I'll probably make a video about rosin soon, but can I get it in there? Magic Rosin. This stuff is awesome. Go to magicrosin.com. Check them out. Okay, next to bring to your lesson. Books. Bring your books to your lessons. It's super important. I'm sure that your teachers have copies of everything that you're using and that's fantastic, but it doesn't have the notes written in it that that are important to you, that you're working on. So you need to bring your books to the lesson. Um, also a folder bring a folder to your lessons because you're going to get sheet music and you don't want to shove your sheet music in the books because they're going to get lost you're going to forget what was given to you and then you might get five copies of the same thing because you just don't know what you have bring a folder that's really important for violin cello and bass bring a rag to wipe your instrument off when you're done with it you want to do that every single time, wipe off the body of the instrument, wipe off the strings, and you're good to go. It'll make the strings last longer. You won't get rosin buildup on the, like around the bridge and top of your instrument. You don't want that at all. What else do I have on here? The most important thing other than your instrument, cash money. Bring money for your teachers. Pay them on time. If they have a lesson policy about when money is due, read it, read it carefully. Pay your teachers on time. It keeps them happy. Okay. <laughs> um, what else do I got? So that covers everything I put for lessons. When I go to rehearsals, I bring my instrument, I bring a pencil, I bring the music for whatever that gig is or that performance, I bring a rag, I bring my rosin, I bring a backup set of strings. And so you can also do that for your lessons as well. I mean, m most cases have pockets, and so if you can keep backup strings in your case, you should definitely do it, especially, you know, right now it's winter time and instruments are cranky this time of year, and so 
backup strings are really important. And you can just get a cheap set to get you through the gig until you can go get the strings that you really like that cost more money. Um, but what I also bring to rehearsals is scotch tape because when you get new music, some of the times it's not taped together and so you want to tape your music together. I think that's really important to just get it done the first rehearsal and you're solid, you're set up. Uh, a lot of the times the librarian does it, but if it's like a smaller gig and they're just putting it together like at a church maybe, they, they might not think to do it. So bring some tape, keep it in your case. Um, what I also keep in my case for concerts is a lint roller because if you're wearing black, you need to lint roll yourself. Don't show up looking like a hot mess to a rehearsal or a gig or a performance, especially if you're getting paid. I guess just either way, just don't look like a hot mess at your at your rehearsal. You are you are representing well, if you're a student, you're representing your teacher when you show up to these events, especially if your teacher hooked you up with this gig. So you don't want to show up unprepared or looking sloppy. And in general, you just don't want to look sloppy at public events when you're playing your instrument and you're, you're representing yourself. So make sure you have a lint roller when you get to the concert and you're wearing all black. Take care of yourself before you get on stage. And make sure you follow the guidelines of whatever that concert is saying. If they're saying wear all black with a floor length skirt, don't show up with a knee length skirt, show up with a floor length skirt. This video got a little bit off track, but I think these are important things to cover as well. So we covered everything that you should bring to your lesson, everything that I bring to rehearsals that I think you should bring as well. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.